Now you've seen secret bases in Minecraft, but you've never seen anything like this. Today we're looking at noob versus pro versus hacker secret underground bases. These three secret bases are gonna blow you away, so be sure to watch till the end of this video. The three secret bases are actually on my screen right now. I wonder if you guys can find them. There's a noob base, a pro base, and a hacker base. The entrances to all the bases are right there. Can you guys spot any of them? No? Maybe? Okay, so if some of you guys guess this back corner right here, that is actually where the noob base is. This is where we're gonna start. This is the noob base. It's in a cave system. I wonder what it's gonna look like. Okay, so not very protective entrance at all. You can just walk right in and whoa, wait, hold up. This is nice. This is our entrance. We got some armor over here, some chest, crafting table, basic necessities. You walk in here and you're presented with, it looks like five different rooms. Oh my gosh, dude, look at the detail that's in the walls and everything. Guys, I just want to let you know that this is the noob base. This is the worst base of them all. Over here, it looks like we got a potion station. We got some potions, some brewing utensils. Then over here, this looks like the portal section and crafting. So we got a nether portal in the wall. We got a crafting. We got some books that we can read. Yummy, yummy. I want you to watch till the end of this video because the hacker base is the most insane base I have ever seen ever in Minecraft. Whew. Okay. As the book said, guys, watch till the end of the video because this is just the pro base. Wait till you see the hacker base. I kid you not, it's the craziest base I've ever seen like ever. This over here is the kitchen. Basic necessities for the kitchen. We got all our meats laid out. We got our cooking utensils. We got our sinks. We got our kitchen table. And then last but not least, we have our bedroom with a beautiful armor stand system right here. We also have our bed and just do look at the detail. There's like banners for the headboard. These are our little nightstands with little anvils on them that look like handles. Like the amount of detail that is in this is just insane. Now this is just the noob house. Let's go to the pro one. Now I want you guys to try and find the pro base. I'm looking at the entrance right now. There's some grass. There's some mountains in the background. There's some trees. I want you you to take a guess. Where do you think the entrance is? If you guess the mountains over there, you're wrong. But if you guess this lonely tree right here, you're correct. Pop in a redstone torch and it is going to open an entrance. Wait for it. Is it not opening? Hello? Uh, where's the entrance to this base? Nothing's opening up. Wait, did you think that a pro would put the entrance to his base next to a tree? That is a noob mistake. Little to less, it is right over here. Yes, there it is. This is the entrance to the pro base, ladies and gentlemen. Super fancy. This is nice. And then we got beautiful glass, automatic glass doors that open up. And we are presented with the inside of the pro base base. Are you kidding me, guys? I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to begin. And keep in mind, this is just the pro base. Wait till you see the hacker base. This is insane. I guess we'll start over here to the right with the living room area. We have a massive sofa, a couple chairs, the biggest coffee table I've ever seen with an entire garden inside of it. Ridiculous 95 inch flat screen TV and a beautiful plant with a smiley face. And here we have the bedroom. As you can see, there's two beds indicating that this is indeed the bedroom. You walk in here and we have a beautiful computer. We got a closet with tons of armor. We got even an armor swapping machine. Fancy floating plants with eggs on it that I have no idea what their purpose is. And then we have a beautiful bed. Look at that. This room is so, so cool. And another happy plant and a creeper just to remind you that creepers still exist. Going through here, you guys can see there's just so much detail. We have a waterfall over here. There's more rooms that way. I'm pretty sure there's there's like a movie theater. This design right here is really cool. It's some type of weird statue holding the base up. Then we got other waterfalls here. We have a beautiful dining room table with a fish tank in the middle of it. 
What? Tell me you're rich without telling me you're rich. Going into this section of the house, this is our beautiful kitchen with a completely automatic furnace. Let me show you how it works. All you do is you throw the items in here that you want to get cooked and look at how fast it takes all of them. And then they're gonna end up in this chest when they're fully cooked. That's it, it's literally that simple. We got a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. Boom. Look at all of them baked potatoes. And it's cooking more and more as we speak. Look at that. They're all showing up in there. It's so crazy. The world's fastest furnace, ladies and gentlemen. Going over into this room, this is our potion room. Uh, now, you guys remember the other potion room? Yeah, it was cool. But this, this is a whole nother level. I mean, that other potion room had these brewing stands. You guys probably know what those are. But this right here is a completely automatic brewing station where you can select what kind of flavor you want, what kind of ingredient, what kind of duration, and then boom, it crafts you a potion and there. This corner over here is just to look at the rest of the fish tank. The fish tank is absolutely massive. Look at all the little fishies. Oh, it's so cute. I want to squeeze you and pick you up. But you thought these fish in this aquarium was cool. Wait till it turns into an enchanting table. Are you kidding me? You can enchant with all your little fishy friends watching you. This right here is our storage room. This place is so massive that it actually looks like a grocery store. Wait, hold on. Let me make it a little bigger. Let me flip this lever right here and voila! It's so flipping cool. So this is the storage room and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is just so flipping cool. Like what? It's so unnecessary, but it's also so epic. This is the pro house, but it isn't the hacker house and <coughs> rookie mistake. <coughs> I can't open the chest. Let me go ahead and close this door. It's just so satisfying the way it opens. Oh, it's so cool. So epic. Much epic. Much wow. You have a bunch of other tools over here you can use as well, sitting on the shelf, ready to be used. Let's go ahead and go down here. Beautiful waterfall. I mean, just the amount of detail that is in this place just blows my mind away. Like, look at this. Just what? Like, what? What is this? Going in here, this is our pool. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, we have a hot tub. Indeed, it is hot. We also have a television. It doesn't turn on. You thought it turned on. It doesn't. Then we have a pool, a beautiful, beautiful beautiful pool. Now you're probably wondering unspeakable, what are all these dispensers in the pool? Press this fancy old button right here and what happens? Wait for it. Bum bada bum. The pool's gone! Just the amount of detail. Like this is like a little drink bar. This is a bamboo wall. We got a bunch of chairs over here. We got some towels hung up on the wall. Like just the detail in this place. It's so crazy. I'm gonna open the pool back up just because I know I'm probably gonna want to swim in a little bit. Here we go. Voila! Look at that. Now if we go across the hall all the way down here. This is probably my favorite room of them all. And this indeed, believe it or not, is voila, a movie theater. Are you kidding me, dude? Like what? We even have a popcorn machine? Bro, what? <laughs> so we have a movie theater. There's tons of chairs and a massive massive screen. All your friends can come over and relax. This is so cool. We also have a drink machine. Believe it or not. Yes, 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 we do. We got some Coca-Cola. We got some soft drinks. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the pro house. And also look at this. Look at these lights. It like like, bro, like, what? Just uh, the amount of detail that is in this house is just insane. And the fact that that, what? Eh, excuse me. Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, there we go. That was a little rude, okay? Now you can do your thing. Go ahead and go ahead and do your thing. You can close. Behind me somewhere is the entrance to the hacker base. I want you guys to try and guess where it's at. Is it, is it that tree over there? Is it the grass that I'm standing on? You guys see this building right here? Yes, yes, this indeed is actually not the entrance. You think it's the entrance, but this is just a heavily guarded train station that goes to the base. We also have an ID card because if you don't have this ID card, these robots will chase you down. And trust me, you don't want to be chased by these guys. They can literally climb through walls. It, it's it's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and walk up to the front of this base. Hopefully let me in. How's it going, sir? Good to see you. you mind, uh, you mind letting me in? Let me scan. Scanning. Yep, we're good. All right, sweet. Opening up the door. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. We have some more guards over here just to monitor the area, but welcome, Unspeakable. Hi, how you guys doing? So this 
is not even the base, guys. This is just the train station to go to the base. Believe it or not. We have some fish in this beautiful fountain. We have a second story up here, just some lounge area for the guards and whatnot. This is the trainway system. So let's go ahead and go down here. Woo, we got a little speed boost. Let's go. Woo, it's a little bit of a walk all the way down here, but we are eventually presented with the train station. Dude, look at this place. Is this not insane? Like what, bro? We can go ahead and hop on the train here. We're gonna take a seat and just wait for it to take off. <laughs> Look at this train, dude. This is so insane. I'm gonna close this door. We walk in the train and this is the button we hit because <laughs> this is our private train. This is our private subway system. We press this button and boom, we are here at the base. Oh my gosh, dude, this is, I, I don't even know where to begin. It's gonna take me a while to show you guys this place, so just bear with me. This train station is so crazy. So we're gonna take another train to get us over to the main house. Now there is two ways to go. There's the life area and the lab area. We're gonna check out the lab area first. Let's go ahead and hop in and yeet. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, there we are. Now we're here. Let's go. Now you can actually keep going on this track and it keeps taking you places. I'm just going to start showing you guys things because this place is so, so crazy. Walking into the lab, there's a couple different ways we can go. But let's just start off here to the left with the portal room. This room is very, very simple and it's going to allow us to spawn a portal. We press the on button and there's this massive portal gun that is literally going to shoot a beam and <laughs> spawn in a portal. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it actually shot a fish. <laughs> <laughs> that is how we spawn a portal. All of this, this portal gun, this giant detailed room just for a nether portal. That just goes to show you how extreme this base is. All right, let's go into the next room over here. Now, this room right here is very, very special. We have this teleportation pod that is going to teleport us to a dark matter facility. This is one of our research labs where we can actually spawn in a black hole. Hole. Yes, believe it or not. That is how crazy this place is. So we just summoned a black hole. Check it out. Look at that. It's literally a black hole. We can also collapse the black hole as well. <laughs> That's it for this room. This entire room was just to look at a black hole. Now let's go to the next section of the lab. We got rockets. We got science. We also have to enter a quick decontamination zone. So there we go. Go ahead and clean us off. There we go. Now we're good to go into the lab. One thing we're testing in this lab is an ooze farm. So you press this button. It instantly mines all the wheats from the farm. And then it's going to drop down this ooze and grow it back really, really fast. We're trying to invent a new way to farm in Minecraft, and this is what hackers do. We got a bunch of research stuff on here. We got some microscopes looking at some crazy things. I don't even know what's going on half the time here. Inject mystery ooze. Whoa, he just turned into a rainbow sheep. What happens if we inject the ooze into the plant? Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's pretty cool. If we head upstairs here, this is the monster test room. Room. This is honestly a little bit exciting. What is this dude? Let's do test number one, shall we? Oh! What the flip just happened? That dude just ate him. Now he's got two swords. Uh, test number two. What do we got? Test number two. Oh, oh, now we have a lava zombie? I'm telling you guys, we're experimenting a lot of weird things. What is... Oh, Ender zombie. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna go the other way. What do we have going on in here? Hello, Mr. Zombie. How is it going? Are you having a good day? Okay, have a better day. I'm gonna leave you alone. Not only can we spawn in these crazy zombies. Wait for it. Wait for it. What? And the... Oh my gosh, it's like an iron golem zombie. We can also actually spawn them in and fight them. <laughs> Let's do it. There's a lot of different weapons we can choose from. There is this a lightsaber? A light oh my gosh, I have a lightsaber. There's also a hacker sword. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. What is that? Whoa! Alrighty. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and summon the golem boy. That's the last dude that we were just looking at. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. I didn't know there'd be a lot of you guys. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you wanna talk? Oh, okay, you guys can walk over stuff. You're kind of smart. And yeet. This lightsaber is strong, but these golems, these are actually the hardest mobs to fight. Let me try the hacker sword. Oh, the hacker sword summons lightning. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? What? Oh, he's almost got me down. He's almost got me down. Oh, oh, 
Oh, let's go. And he dropped the hammer. What? Look at this hammer. Bro, it's so crazy. All right, that's enough fun for now. We still got a lot of stuff to look at. Let's go look at some rockets. Did I say rockets? Yes, I said rockets. If we go down here, we have our rocket zone. This is our rocket testing facility. We have a lot of stuff here. Random maps. We have some armor. This is a spacesuit decompression test. We can go ahead and test it. You can see the spacesuit in action as it leaves oxygen. We have another cool room over here. This is a rover that we sent to Mars. And now we have it just in this little museum. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Going good? You want a bagel? Okay, I'll be back. This right here is the map of the world that we're in right now and we're about right there so just to kind of show you there, there's a quite a bit of water honestly a big mountain over here as well this is one of our rocket engines we can actually do a test fire right here oh did you guys hear that <laughs> i love how we can just fire up a rocket engine in our underground base typical things if we go into this way we have a bunch of our space suits where we can actually suit up and get ready to go to the moon i'm gonna use astronaut suit number one i like the blue color there we go look at that i'm already walking a lot slower as you guys can tell because this suit is heavy elevator to the moon here we go boys i'm a hacker of course i can go to the moon <laughs> Now we're actually walking into the spaceship. Yes, there is an entire, you can't really see much of it, but we have an entire spaceship. Are you guys ready to go to the moon? Oh my God, here we go! Oh, okay. We're on the flipping moon, boys. Yo, let's go. Oh, look at this. Are you kidding me? We're literally on the moon. We have a little rail system to teleport over to our secret little moon base here. Look at this. What is this place? Look, even the garage door shuts. We got a quick little decontamination and then we're good to go inside the house. Are you kidding me? We're literally, we have a house on the moon, bro. We got this crazy laser satellite system so we can talk to earth over here. We got basic necessities. We got some chests, some sleeping pods. And then going in here, we have some testing rooms. So this is an air jump test. So we can go in here and go ahead and jump. Look at that, bro. What the flip? It launched me all the way up here. Look at our spaceship over there. So fancy. Much wow. These are moon boots. So let's go ahead and try these moon boots. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh. Open the doors. Send me out into the moon. Let's go. Wait for it. Decontaminate. You know, because... There's oxygen inside, but there's not oxygen out here. But now we can jump around. We got the special moon boots. Let's go, boys. Yo, wait, what is this? Is this a meteor? Look at that. Emeralds are on it too. Oh my gosh. What's on the inside? Hello? Oh, it's lava. Hello. Oh, you're probably really warm. You probably just landed. I'll have to collect some of this for my research. All right, emergency launch return. We're gonna go ahead and launch back over to Earth. Look at that, it's beautiful. Back in the spaceship. So flipping crazy, boys. We just went to the moon. I just wanna let you guys know that we have only explored the lab portion of this base. We haven't even gone to the main base yet. Heading down this hallway, we got more experiments, boys. The poke egg button. What, what does this do? It didn't do anything. Whew, okay, I'm kind of glad it didn't do anything because what if I poked it and then it hatched and then a dragon came out over here we have a fire button I don't know exactly what this does oh it's a laser beam okay nice epic epic okay sauce all right nice fire okay cool like I said this lab is massive there's so many experiments so many things going on let's go ahead and open up this beautiful door and voila what's going on here we have another massive door that we need to open and this I believe goes into the end portal if I'm correct yes here it is master power on and off we have a massive laser beam that is going to spawn in the end portal all of this massive room this massive ridiculous door just for the end portal downstairs we have a particle collider test room and basically what this does it, is it has this massive laser cannon that can make us any ore so let's see what we can come up with let's go ahead and turn on the power we got some iron in this thing it's gonna heat up the machine and then we can press this button and it's gonna use these massive laser beams to make an ore just got a new gem that we crafted let's see what 
we got look at this we got an amethyst shard okay that is pretty cool we can just make ores with giant laser beams we can put different materials in here and in the laser and we can make different ores so i'm sure you can make diamonds and emeralds it's just so crazy dude like what this right here is the main electric generator this is also the engine this is basically the power plant that powers this entire base it's important to see this because i just want to show you guys what it takes to power something like this i mean this is just absolutely ridiculous the amount of detail that went into this build like we have these little control rooms over here that manage everything we have ladders easy access we have all these tubes we have smoke coming out of the engine because it is indeed running and powering this entire facility and all the lights just insane dude absolutely insane but we can keep heading down here we got some more things this is the aquarium section yo what look at this what look at the fish jumping out of the water oh my gosh they're dolphins they're like mutant dolphins though they're red but they look so happy this right here is the diving suit let's go ahead and grab that there we go now we can go ahead and hop in the water and swim around with some of these fish oh my gosh dude this is so insane what so yes, we have a giant research facility, not only for all the stuff that is on land, but also a lot of the stuff that is on water as well. That's enough of the lab section. Let's go ahead and head over to the life section. Now, this is the main portion of the house. This is the living quarters. This is the hospital. This is, you know, the pool, the movie rooms. And, and yes, I did say hospital. This house has a hospital. So let's go ahead and spawn in a minecart. Let's hop in and let's go off to a slow start. And we're off to the races. This massive underground base literally took months to build. So I need you guys to take just one quick second and click that good old subscribe button for me thank you so much all right let's continue right here we got the fun room so we got a crazy disco party look at this little derpy dude let's go ahead and start the music are you guys ready here we go <laughs> So fun that's so cool we have a massive bar over here with tons of different drinks we got orange juice we got cherry juice we got apple juice basically a giant nightclub that is so cool the floor is also changing colors your own dj and everything absolutely insane okay so we have a couple different ways to go we have the cafeteria the library and the rooms and then we also have the hospital let's start off with the cafeteria so the cafeteria over here is pretty insane this is for all the staff members that work here and of course the people that live here here as well here we have a conveyor belt of food this is the menu for today and this is all the food that is being pumped out if we go back here of course we have all the stuff to cook the food we have a bunch of different cookers going we have obviously a freezer in here which is pretty cool going across from the cafeteria we're gonna wait on the library and the life rooms we're gonna go into the hospital guys this is actually a fully functioning hospital believe it or not so here we are we have a bunch of rooms in here for the patients and then if we go upstairs here we also have an mri room so we can go in here and we can actually get a scan of our brain take and look at that oh this is kind of scary but really cool you hear the beeping sound that's it taking a ton of pictures of my brain do you think it's small or do you think it's big? I think it might be a peanut. Wow, look at that. It's that so, so cool. Like what, bro? Head down this hallway and we have the tester room. A surgery robot. This is uh, low key kind of scary, but oh, what the flip? Oh my gosh, failed to calibrate machine. Okay, I guess the surgery robot isn't doing too well. I mean, we're still doing research on it, so let me go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, see, that's that's why we're still testing. <laughs> but yeah, eventually, we will have a surgery robot where the robot can perform pretty much any surgery. We also have a medicine room, which we can go in here and we can actually pick some medicine. So let me try this one right here. Oh, we got some. Look at this. So this is test tube number three. Let's see what happens when we drink this. Hopefully nothing. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at all the potion effects. Jump boost, water breathing, luck, speed, strength, dolphin's grace. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. All I know is, is that we just had superpowers for 10 seconds. All right, well, the medicine room is definitely working. Now we have the library and the life rooms. This house feels like it never ends. I can't even imagine how big it is. So there's a couple different ways to go here. Let's go this way. These are some of the bedrooms. This is one of the guest bedrooms we have here. Obviously massive, massive TV on the 
the wall. Beautiful, beautiful bed. You have a closet. Pretty much everything you need. There's another one right across the hall. This one's really cool as well. Super, super cool. Big speakers up there as well. We can keep going up this way and we are presented with more rooms up here. So here is another guest bedroom. We got some armor and stuff up there. Another guest bedroom over here. This one has a computer set up in it and two fish tanks in the wall. Pretty cool. And then we got another bedroom over here. So many bedrooms this place has. And then we have, it looks like, this is kind of like a chess organization slash closet room. Throw some decorations, whatever in there. We can head back downstairs this way. And this actually gets a view of the rocket from the lab. So you guys can see the rocket that we're in that sent us to the moon earlier. Going back down here, we have another chest kind of closet room. And then we have a furnace room. So this is an extra kitchen that you can use just in case you don't want to go to the main cafeteria kitchen. You can use this one. Walking over here, we have a cinema room. So this is the movie theater. Pretty cool and cozy, massive couch. And of course, we do have a popcorn machine as well. We also have, of course, a drink machine just like the pro house, but crazy, dude. Like, what? So, so cool. Then we can head down this way and we are presented with the spa. So we have a massive spa in here with a pool. We can actually heat the water so you can turn on all the bubbles. You can also clear the water as well if you want to get rid of all the water, just like the other pool. We have a bunch of towels hanging up right here, some lounge chairs over there. There is just so much going on in here. We also have a hot sauna in here. So if you want to get a little spicy, a little toasty, it's currently like 120 degrees in here. Very, very hot. We'll leave that closed. Passing the spa and going into the library. This place is pretty awesome as well. We got this beautiful fancy staircase that takes us upstairs and into the library. Nice little view down there. We can head into here and voila! Oh, I should be quiet. Shh, sorry. Oh wait, I'm the only one in here. Voila! This is the library, it's pretty cool. We got a bunch of knowledge. You know what's better than knowledge? A Lamborghini, all the knowledge. Very, very cool, high ceilings, awesome. There is something in this room that is a little bit off. This button right here opens a secret room. Where do you think that secret room is? Right behind here. <laughs> Look at this. The door closes very, very fast. So you have to sneak in here. And this is a completely secret room. It's going to take us really, really deep into the base. And whoa. Look at this. We got a bedrock block. We got dragon egg. We got tons of gold. This is a giant vault that we have in here. Now, I need you guys to be very quiet about this. Don't tell anyone that this is here, okay? Because this is literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars of gold. This base is absolutely insane. Going from the noob base all the way to this massive compound, it doesn't even feel like a base. It feels like a giant, like, I, I don't even know, like with the lab and the living area and all the areas for the staff members that work here on the base, like, it, it's like, it's overwhelming. It's so much, but that was noob versus pro versus hacker underground base. If you guys want to see another version of this, maybe we should do like floating bases or flying bases. Who knows? Let me know down in the comment section below, but click that subscribe button if you want to be on Spiegel's best friend, and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new video. Peace.